This is Bass West USA TV. Join us as we redefine the traditional fishing show and travel the nation in search of the hottest techniques, tactics, and big bass locations. Each week, we'll make the pages of our magazine come to life as weekend warriors and top tour pros show you how to catch some donkeys. Because... I am Bass West USA. I am Bass West USA. We are Bass West USA TV. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brought to you by Legend Boats, Dobbins Rods, Bassaholics Clothing, Addicted, Boat Bling, Universal Premium Boat Detailing Products, Bass Tackle Depot, Where the Pros Shop, Power Pole, Shallow Water Anchors. What's up? I'm Jamie Cyphers, and this is Bass West USA TV. Thanks for joining us on another action-packed Big Bass adventure. This week, we'll visit the world-famous Big Bass Factory Clear Lake in Northern California. The action will be red hot in the weather, freezing cold. I will join local stick and Bass Tackle Depot pro Tommy Cardoza for some swim bait action in, as usual, a late winter blizzard. Clear Lake was beautiful with seven inches of snow on the ground, although it made for some pretty interesting filming conditions. In this week's Real Perspective, we dive into the world that is U.S. Angler's Choice Tournament Trails with VP Bill Hutchinson as we catch some large and smallmouth bass on epic Lake Havasu. BASS Pro Clark Ream will show us an unbelievable tube trick in this week's Tech Tip. Tommy Cardozo will get detailed on how he works his swim bait in the Pro Pointer of the Week. Let's find out if those world-famous Clear Lake donkeys come out to play. I'm Jamie Cyphers, host of Bass West USA TV. We came a long way to fish one of the premier lakes in the entire United States. And uh, it, it's a lake that I've been to many times. I've never been to this lake and incurred any kind of these conditions, any kind of these variables. I, I, I had no idea it even snowed here. It's been just the craziest week of my life as far as fishing goes. You know, I came to California with huge aspirations. This is probably one of the greatest fisheries in the entire United States. Um, it's a dream. Every single person, if you're a hardcore bass addict, you love to fish like I love to fish, you need to come up here and do it. You know, Tommy Cordoza is a really upcoming name in Northern California. Uh, he's won a couple pro-ams. Uh, he's definitely won some owner's classic for different boat companies. Uh, he's very knowledgeable, very respected, and, and he's a swim bait specialist. Bottom line, the guy knows swim baits in and out. Bass fishing, it's in my blood. I've been fishing in general all my life. Three generations of fishermen. Bass fishing, it got in my blood from fishing tournaments with my dad in pg &E. Where I get off the most with bass fishing is when you feel a tick on a swim bait, you don't know if it's a two pounder or a 10 pounder. And sacking up those big, big bags of big fish on, on a certain bait at a certain time of year, that's what gets me going. We're on Clear Lake and it's winter time. It snowed for the last two days and uh, the water temperatures in between 43 and 50 going up and down there's ice all over the place the fish are just trying to feed up to start staging it's still winter time there's still cold water but they're thinking about it they're just starting to think about their spring pattern and they're grouped up feeding they're not quite staging yet they're hanging out on deep spots spots that have deep water nearby so they could just go down if it gets too cold they could just go back down to the warmer water come up to feed Go back down, because if it was a, if they were up here, I'm marking fish on the meter too, on the break. Oh, that's on that lipless crank. A lipless crankbait right on that break too. It's a good one. Good one. First thing in the morning. 45. Oh yeah. Yeah, come over. Come oh yeah, it's a good one. 45 degrees of water. In there. <laughs> oh, 
That ain't there a it is. Fish. It's about a five and a half. As soon as it come off the top of that break, it, it just it just Holy stopped cow. it. Man, good fish, dude. Hey, how about the snow on the hills? <laughs> Forty-five <laughs> degree water. Well, there you go. She's I a didn't beauty. take you too long. I didn't take you too long at all, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tommy Cardoza and I am Bass West USA TV. Thank you, girl. I'm Clark Ream and this is this week's tech tip. But day in and day out, the old tube is still one of the most deadly baits for flipping. What ends up happening is a lot of times there's so much plastic there that it balls up on the hook. I'm gonna show you a neat little trick that will help you increase your hookup percentage with tubes. I've already pre-rigged a Texas rig right now. I've got a Tungsten 97 weight on there, and I've got an EWG style hook. I've got just a regular old tube right here. This is the trick. You're gonna Texas rig it, just like you normally would. Slide it up your line, and here's where the magic happens. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors, and I'm gonna slit that tube. I've made a slit about an inch long, half inch, whatever, and you can see it opens up. But whenever it comes back together, it still has a regular old tube shape. Now I'm going to insert the hook into that gap and expose it on the back side to make it weedless. So it looks like a normal tube. But now where the real trick is, when you get a bite, it's going to fold over and eliminate that big wad of plastic that's on there. I'm Clark Ream, and that's this week's Tech Tip. Welcome back. Let's jump down to the beautiful and sometimes wild Lake Havasu, Arizona and catch up with Bill Hutchison and Bass West correspondent Adam Paul in this week's Real Perspective. A Real Perspective with me, Captain Adam Paul. So Bill, thank you for coming out here with us tonight and, and we're so excited to be a part of this and, and, and learn more about the tournament side of what Bass West USA Magazine English Choice is doing Tell me a little bit about what the tournament is about and where it's going. Well, you know, with U.S. Angler's Choice, one of the beauties of our operations is we run different levels of tournaments that will cater to each individual angler at whatever level they are at out there. We've got our team events, we've got Western Rookie League events, mm -hmm. and for the guys that are ready to step up to the plate, we've got our Pro-Am events. Uh, we are the largest team tournament circuit in the United States, so we've got uh, four different regions encompassing the west coast of the U.S., as well as stuff on the east coast and the upper Midwest. So there's ample opportunity for people to participate at all levels all across the country. We're here at literally one of the most beautiful spots in the world. And I know you guys have team tournaments here. Tell me about the interaction between Angler Choice and the locations that you guys pick. Well, you know, one of the things that we do is we try to pick uh, the most advantageous fishing locations during the proper times of the year. For example, we're out here right now filming at Lake Havasu in April, and Havasu being the tremendous smallmouth fishery that it is, there's no better time to be out here. With the smallmouth, it typically uh, tends to be a lot of the rocky points, rocky ledges and stuff. As you can see, there's, there's plenty of rocky structure around. Largemouth, they tend to be more around grass beds, things like that. Especially with this clearer water, Right now, uh, you know, it seems like the muddier water is where you're going to do better with the, uh, the faster retrieve. Uh -huh. In here, it seems to be the slower retrieve. So, you know, we're here filming Bass West USA TV. Tell me how all the little pieces of the puzzles work together with Angler Choice. Well, you know, U.S. Angler's Choice tournaments are part of the same uh, organization that also has uh, Bass West USA TV as one of its properties, as well as Bass West Magazine. Uh, the synergy of all this coming together really works out nicely in terms of sponsorships, in terms of coverage of our events. Uh, for example, the U.S. Angler's Choice circuits, if you're getting Bass West USA Magazine, the last 16 pages of each issue are devoted to U.S. Angler's Choice coverage. And that ranges from our Pro-Am events to our team to our WRLL events. Now, of course, people can go online to our Angler's Choice site and get the complete coverage for each and every region that we have, as well as all the standings and information on the Anglers of the Year point races. This lake has just so much different structure and you've got to adapt to it. Usually uh, early mornings, late evenings here, uh, starting spring through summer, top water's just going off. I know you're throwing a blade right now, picked up a fish on that. 
I've switched over to a, a shad colored crankbait here, smaller crankbait so that, uh, you know, the small mouth will key in on it as well. Fish on, boy. Smally. You just oh. lean down and get him. All right. All right. That's a little popcorn smallmouth right there. Hungry little buzzard. All right, he's gonna go swim away to play another day. What's it to you about the sport of bass fishing? You know, I can't speak for everybody else, but I know each and every time I'm out there on the water, no matter how many times I've done it, when you get that strike, it just gives you a, a jolt of adrenaline like you've never had in your life. And whether it's your first time, whether it's your 10,000th time, it doesn't change, it's always there. Right in the back. Right in, all right. Nice fish. His result from bait fish all the way up. There we go. Nice Outstanding. fish, brother. Thanks for spending the day on the water you know with what? me. Pleasure, Adam. Thank you. And that was a real perspective with me, Captain Adam Paul. I'm Tommy Cardoza, and this is this week's Pro Pointer. This week, we're talking about how to make a fish react to a swim bait. When fishing a swim bait, burn it, rip it, pop it, kill it, and the fish will let you know how they want it. That's how I use these big swim baits to catch monster bass on Clear Lake. I'm Tommy Cardoza, and that's this week's Pro Pointer. We came a long way to fish one of the premier lakes in the entire United States. I've never been to this lake and incurred any kind of these conditions. We're on Clear Lake and it's winter time. The water temperature's in between 43 and 50. The fish are just trying to feed up to start staging. It's still winter time. There's still cold water, but they're thinking about it. On the lip list. What'd you get that? Oh, that's on that. Oh, yeah. yeah come on. Water. Third or fourth cast, this guy turns around, pulls out a lipless crankbait, and throws it out there, it's ripping this little trap through there, and boom! Clear Lake, California, it's a big bass fishery. Not the giant, but a lot of fish from four to 10 pounds. It's a natural lake full of bait, full of crawdads, full of shad, full of hitch. And the hitch is a native fish that's only native to two lakes in California. It's Clear Lake and Berryessa, and a hitch is a fish that gets to be about three to four pounds, and the bass key in on that, before they start pre-spawn, they'll sit at the mouths of the creek and stage and eat these big fish. That's when you catch the big Florida strains on Clear Lake. And they're eating both of them, doing the same exact deal as bring, swimming them up, up the walls, up onto the breaks. Because they're either, like I said before, they're going to go deep or they're going to come shallow to feed. So you could throw the swim bait out and do the same thing, just swim it up that wall, or do the yo-yo. And the yo-yoing, it really mimics a cold bait fish. So, I mean, now we got these clouds coming in the wind again, man. I mean, do you think that might set off a few bites, or is this, I mean, it's been so abstract. Is it going to shut them down? Or? Uh, it usually turns them on. That's what I need to hear, because I'm freezing, man. I'm ready for one. There you oh. go. Oh, man. You got it? Yeah. Swinger, baby. Woo! Oh, man. Look how white that fish is, dude. Wow. That fish is cold. 45 degree water. Oh man, I'm gonna throw right in where you just caught that, man. I mean, we'll get a double hit. Wow. Not a lot of bites, but they're some good fish, man. This week's viewer video fall. Sig Taylor hauling in a huge frogfish. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, my gosh. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a good one. Now we're talking. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Swing it around. Oh, my phone drained. There's a donkey. Told you, there 
are in here. It doesn't get any better than this. Big old frog fish here. Look at that sucker, man. Probably go seven, eight pounds. Man, man. Tore you up. All right. Look at that. Nice mouth on her. Gotcha. Kevin Johnson catching a summertime bass on Pyramid Lake. Go to BassWest.com and click on the Facebook icon to upload your videos and win a $1,000 Bass Tackle Depot gift card. We're on Clear Lake and it's winter time. The fish are just trying to feed up to start staging. I've never been to this lake and incurred any kind of these conditions. 3rd or 4th cast, this guy turns around and throws it out there, ripping this little trap through there, and boom! They move up and down these ledges, so they're going to be in their comfort zone, and we were bringing the baits up through that zone, hoping to get bit. There we go. Woo! Then he caught another one, I'm going, okay, you know, man, you guys got a swim bait fish. I really got to get a fish here, boys. Tommy starts breaking out these eight and 10 inch swim baits. I mean, it's 45 degrees down there. There is not a fish that I know of that's gonna be out there cruising around, spending a lot of energy to eat swim baits. He says, nah, nah, they'll do it. Look at that bay. There he is, there he is, yep. Look how choked it is. Look at, she swallowed that thing. She wasn't messing around. Oh, beautiful fish, huh? Chunky. That's how we do it Bass West style. Look at that. So we threw some big ones, we threw some medium ones, and uh, we got some we got some nice fish to eat them. Tommy is showing them how he does it. West Coast style, baby. There it is. That's sick, dude. That was just off the hook. What a There goes. What a tank. And I'm going, okay, now I'm not so cold. Now it doesn't feel like eight degrees outside. Now the snow's starting to look a little greener. And I got a little excited. And man, I started throwing that big swim bait, kind of listened to what he was telling me. Yeah, they're trying to get that one meal a day, trying to eat a bigger, a bigger meal, you know? I don't care how much money you make fishing or what you do for a living, I got a pretty good bet. This guy will teach you something. This guy knows his stuff. And I just kind of stayed with it, listened to his tips, and then, man, when she hit, oh, yeah. You there? I mean, she's got a Huddleston in her that big. I mean, there's a lot of folks that take that thing home, put it in a frying pan, and eat it for dinner. Wow. That. You know, I just knew it had to be a big fish, and to catch a seven-pounder like that, man, that's, that's what it's all about. I'll never forget that fish for the rest of my life. We had to work for him and scratch, but man, you know, it's winter time. There's snow on the ground, and we're out here catching swim bait fish, the reaction fish, and 45 degrees of water. I could not be more impressed with Tommy as a person and as an angler and man, he was informative and I mean this guy, this guy will teach you something. 
Oh, there he is. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. oh, I barely got her. She is chunky, huh? Yeah, she's four pounds. She's strong. Strong. That's pretty cool, man. Beautiful fish right there, huh? Dude, I am Jamie Cyphers and I am Bass West USA. We caught five fish and we caught some nice ones. On a tournament day, we would have had a pretty decent bag. By paying attention to the little things, by having a good angler with us, gave us some good quality information. Um, you know, we had a great day. It was a learning experience for me. It was an experience I'll never forget. Couldn't be more happier to come up here and be a part of this. I'm Tommy Cardoza, and I'm a Bassaholic. Now that's how we do it at Bass West. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next week. Brought to you by Legend Boats, Dobbins Rides, Bassaholics Clothing, Addicted, Boat Bling, Universal Premium Boat Detailing Products, Bass Tackle Depot, Where the Pros Shop, Power Pole, Shallow Water Anchors. Subscribe to Bass West USA Magazine online at BassWest.com. Please go to BassTackleDepot.com or call 1-800-591-7171 to find products used in today's show. Satchmo Dog Productions. Roo-roo!